What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the Auto VPK for the PlayStation Vita. Now this works on all firmwares, which is pretty cool. It will install the most important apps for the PlayStation Vita. So if you're new to this, then this Auto VPK will go ahead and help you. Also, we will be using PSV image tools, easy front end, so that we can install Handcore. Now we go to games and consoles site, which wrote this article about the Auto VPK. Now the 1.0 was the initial release, but now it has been updated. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. This is a solution for new users who the first time install Handcore on firmware 3.65, 7, and 6.8. Now, the more sought tools such as Vita Shell, Adrenaline, Package J, and Auto Plugin. So, this is the most convenient solution for all of our gamers. Now, it takes one minute to install all the necessary apps that we need. Thanks to Team One Lua, The Flow, and everybody that worked on this. So, now we will go ahead and use PSV image tools to install Handcore. If you're having problems to use Vita Shell or install it via Handcore app, then you can check my previous video. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description or by the end of the video, you can check it out. So we go to the developers GitHub. Now this is from Mr. Gindini, the PSV image tools easy front end. You guys can see multiple tutorials Game of Rebirth DL, if you want it in Portuguese, he has his own tutorial as well. So we download the PSV Image Tools Easy Front End 8.2. Also, we will go to the Heroes GAC and we will download the VPK. Okay, so once you have those two tools, as you guys can see, I have already installed PSV Image Tools. So you run QCMA. If you don't have QCMA, also the link will be in the description. So we run PSV image tools, easy front end. Now we will need to register our profile. So we select the floppy disk. We put the profile's name, which this Vita is on 3.68. Then we will select the magnifying glass and then again, and then we select add. Pretty cool easy okay so now we will select the key folder and select our profile okay now we have it registered now we're going to select an extract of package to handcore if you don't have this already in your folder it will download it automatically and refresh QCMA you guys can see simple as that it already added to our QCMA you don't really have to refresh but I just did it just in case Okay, so now we're ready with our Handcore app. Also, if you need Vita Shell, check my previous video. Like I said before, you can install Molecular Shell and Vita Shell under the apps. It's really simple. You guys can also install Crunchyroll. So now we will go ahead and go to the PlayStation Vita and we will launch Content Manager. Copy content. Okay, so now we go from the PC to the PlayStation Vita system. We select applications, PS Vita. You guys can see our Handcore application and we copy. We just give it a moment. So now we go to our Handcore application and we bypass that message. Now it'll launch it and we can select exit now if you don't have beta shell just select download beta shell by pressing x now if you have any problems then you can use psv image tools either silicas or mr gandini to install beta shell but in this case hancor worked so i was able to download beta shell now this gives you the usb option to connect to the pc now if you don't get all those folders then go to settings and then we're going to go to Hankaku settings. 
and enable unsafe homebrew and that's it that's how you get all the folders in Vita shell okay so we connect to the PC you guys can see I have all my folders so now I am going to copy the auto VPK to the root of the PlayStation Vita and I'm going to paste it okay that's all we need to do in the PC we move back to the PlayStation Vita okay so now we go and find our auto VPK which is an amazing app and we select X and yes I want to install this package that will make my life way easier simple as that guys really easy we close Vita shell and we go to our new auto VPK application and then we're going to launch it I like the little interface which is pretty cool okay so now you're going to get a warning high risk of breaking your device if this VPK is installed use caution with non trusted source packages do you want to install at your own risk I select yes because I trust the hero GAC now please make sure that you get it from the trusted source extended permissions and personal info access required use caution so now it'll give you like three prompts or four and then it will ask you to restart the PlayStation Vita so we press X to restart and then we can see all of our applications Vita show mod Adrenaline, Package J, and Auto Plugin, which is pretty cool. So we run Hencore because we are on 3.68. Okay, now we select Exit. Now you guys can see the Vita Shell mod, which is pretty cool. Now we select Adrenaline and we launch it. It's going to ask us to install Adrenaline by pressing X. It'll download the information and then we launch it again. Now we're going to install the additional information that it's required to enable us to launch in XMB mode like the PlayStation Portable. You guys can see you set it up. Now you have Adrenaline installed which is amazing. Simple as that. Now, before we launch package J, we will need our plugins. That's where auto plugin kicks in. Pretty nice tool, pretty great application. So we launch the auto plugin. So now we will select the second to last option, which is install config text for package J. Now we will install non PDRM or you can install all the plugins, whichever you want. I am just installing some of them repatched by dots. Adrenaline to fix the double touch download enabler and there's many more as you guys can see Shell bat so that we can get the battery percentage PNG shot so that we can have screenshots now PSV VSH menu like the PSP days Okay, so now that's all that I want for now since we install some of the plugins We will need to restart the PlayStation Vita so we launch handcore again and we exit now we launch package J. If we need to refresh, we press triangle and then we select refresh. That is awesome guys, pretty cool. We have package J, not even using the PC. Everything has been done through the PlayStation Vita. Now we're going to test a game, which is Fruit Ninja. So let's double check if this works. So there you have it guys, the auto VPK from the Hero GAC, which is pretty cool. So guys, if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.